हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture let us understand the different type of antennas that are used in communication systems antenna is a device that is used for converting electromagnetic radiation in space into electrical current in conductors or vice versa so antenna is a device that is used for converting electromagnetic radiations in space into electrical current in conductors or vice versa if we say vice versa which means the antenna will convert electromagnetic radiation into electrical currents and also it will convert electrical currents into electromagnetic radiation electromagnetic radiation which means at the transmitting end the electrical signals or electrical current will be converted into electromagnetic radiation and at the receiver end these electromagnetic radiations will be converted into electrical current if you take any antenna the antenna must have following features so the antenna should have following features first one is the radiation pattern of antenna the intensity of radiation benefit and direction effective aperture power gain and radiation efficiency effective length polarization of antenna and bandwidth if you take any transmitting antenna the antenna must have the following features first one is radiation pattern of antenna it should have its own radiation pattern next the intensity of radiation it should have proper intensity so that the signal can be transmitted in a proper way so it should have benefit and direction so it should have a proper direction in which the signal is transmitted next it should have good effective aperture it should have power gain and radiation efficiency so it should have good power gain as well as radiation efficiency it should have effective length the polarization of antenna as well as it should have the good bandwidth so these are the different features of the antenna now let us discuss different types of antenna under that first one is omnidirectional antenna the omnidirectional antenna is a circular pattern in a given plane it radiates equal power in all direction perpendicular to the axis example of omnidirectional antenna is dipole antenna and collinear antenna omnidirectional antenna is a circular pattern in a given plane so it radiates equal power in all directions so omnidirectional antenna will radiate equal power in all direction which is perpendicular to the axis so perpendicular to the axis of an antenna it will radiate equal power in all direction example of omnidirectional antenna is dipole antenna and collinear antenna now let us understand dipole antenna this figure shows the model of dipole antenna dipole antenna has two metallic rods that lie along the same axis so as you can see in this figure it has two metallic rods that lie along the same axis the current will flow through these metallic rods and the current flow will create electromagnetic wave dipole antenna is most commonly referred as half wavelength dipole example of dipole antenna is radio and tv receivers the dipole antenna has two metallic rod that will lie along the same axis so it has two metallic rods that lie along the same axis and the current will flow through these metallic rods and it will create electromagnetic wave when the current flows through these metallic rods it will create the electromagnetic waves that will be transmitted the dipole antenna is most commonly referred as half dipole if we say half dipole which is lambda by 2 so example of dipole antenna is radio and tv receivers next let us understand collinear antenna collinear antenna consists of an array of dipole elements 
these dipoles are parallel and collinear with each other these type of antennas has enhanced gain if we say enhanced gain or more gain which means same power will radiate in more focused way example of collinear antennas are base station antennas that are used for police fire ambulance and taxi services so collinear antenna consists of an array of dipoles so previously we understood dipole which is a single antenna here the collinear antenna consists of array of dipoles many number of dipoles these dipoles are connected in parallel and collinear so these dipoles will be connected in parallel so advantage of connecting these dipole in parallel and in collinear is that it enhances the gain so gain will be enhanced we will get more gain and the advantage of having more gain or enhanced gain is that same power will be radiated in more focused way so we can radiate the same power in more focused way example of collinear antenna is base station antenna that are used for police fire station ambulance and taxi services now let us understand directional antenna the directional antenna effectively sends and receives large signals only in forward direction it has one main lobe and several side lobes these directional antennas are available in different size shape and design example of directional antenna or dish antenna or horn antenna directional antenna effectively sends and receives large signals only in forward direction which means it will send and receive the signal in only one direction which is in forward direction so this type of antenna has one main lobe and also many number of side lobes it consists of several side lobe as well so these antennas are available in different size shape and design depending upon the purpose of antenna for which we are using example of directional antenna is a dish antenna through which we will receive the cable tv so this is one of the example and also horn antenna that will transmit and receive the signal in only one direction now let us understand patch antenna patch antenna is a simple antenna is a single rectangular conductive plate that is spaced above a ground place these antennas are attractive due to their ease of fabrication and they are widely used in portable wireless devices so patch antenna are simple form of an antenna and is a single rectangular conductive plate that is spaced above a ground place which means it will be placed above a ground place these antennas are more attractive due to their ease of fabrication it is widely used in portable wireless devices now let us understand patch array antenna patch array antenna is shown in this figure as the name implies it is the arrangement of multiple patch antennas which are commonly driven by same source it consists of patches arranged in the form of rows and columns to achieve high gain as you can observe from this diagram the patch array antenna is the arrangement of multiple patch antennas which are driven commonly by a same source so single source is used to drive all these antennas that are arranged in the form of an array these patch antennas are arranged in the form of rows and columns as you can see in this diagram and this pattern is done to achieve high gain so gain will be enhanced by arranging the patch antenna in the form of arrays now let us understand yagi antenna a model of yagi antenna is shown in this figure yagi antenna is a directional antenna that radiates signals in 
one main direction it consists of a long transmission line with a single driven element consisting of two rods connected on either side of the transmission line it also consists of one reflector and one or more directors example of agi antenna is television receiver so agi antenna is used for radiating signal in only one direction so if we want to radiate a signal in only one direction we can use agi antenna it consists of long transmission line as you can see in this figure with a single driven element which consisting of two rods on either side of transmission line as you can see in this diagram and it also consists of one reflector as well as one or more directors so that it can radiate the signal example of yagi antenna is tv receiver so this is about the types of antenna hope you have understood the topic thank you